Hey, you're being really obnoxious, you know what? You are not starving. You guys aren't starving either. You guys are Hey, get down. Excuse me. You're a naughty pig, you know that? Way over dramatic. Hi guys, welcome back to B Mills Farm. It's a pretty nice day out today. Just got home from work, getting chores done. The animals are super dramatic today, as you can tell. Just hanging out here in the pig pen with the piglets. Just spending some time with them so that they can get used to me. I think that's a really important part of raising animals is to spend as much time as you could possibly spend with them so that they're comfortable around you and especially since I have a boar now I want him to know me as I want him to be my best bud because someday he'll be a 600 pound monster that doesn't want to be told what to do so if you can establish a good uh, good friendship now it's a good idea No need to rush anything, just kind of hang out and be hands on if you can, if they'll let you. These, it's funny to see the difference in animals. These guys are way, way, way different than any pigs I've had before. Uh, Mama and her brother, they were, they were fairly energetic. And Missy and Hubert are super energetic. Um, as soon as I got them home, all four of them, as soon as I put them on the dirt, they were just 
rooting like crazy. Their head was in the dirt and their tail was wagging all day long. Um, these guys, they haven't really even moved the hay around at all. So, you know, whether that's just because it's cold outside, I'm not sure, but it's, it's cool to see the differences in animals. It's just different personalities, I guess. Plus they're a different breed. I've never had any pigs with Hereford bred into them before, so that could be part of it too. Keep that corner over there nice and deep for them so they can stay warm. It's nice and dry over there. It's furthest away from this open side of the building, which I mean, everything in here is still staying dry. So being wet is no worry, but you can see they want to go check it out. Um, the plan for this weekend is to get some lights strung up in here of some sort. I'll probably do some decorative lights as well as some just regular like four foot LED lights or something so that I can see most importantly so you guys can see and then it'll also look nice. So that's the plan for this weekend. It's only Tuesday so we got a while, but the chickens are all happy that the coop's broken so that they can be back in here. The pigs eating their scraps. Well, I've officially, I'm not positive what day exactly, but it's been four weeks of YouTube, so I've hit my first month. Um, you guys are absolutely amazing. I cannot believe how many subscribers I'm getting and how many views I'm getting already. Um, I'm creeping up on 200 subscribers, which is just amazing. I can't believe it is really encouraging that so many people are interested in seeing my videos and hopefully I can just keep steadily growing and uh, you know eventually hit my hit my goal of a thousand subscribers which I have no time frame that I want to hit that goal I just just set that goal just because um, yeah so hopefully you know in a year two years however long it takes i'll be there but for now i'm just enjoying making videos for you guys and it's cool also the back and forth i get to do through the comments and all that and i'm getting regular people or the same people commenting regularly and i get to interact with them so that's really really cool so that's going to do it for now i really appreciate you guys like i said Go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell, share it with friends if you know of anyone that might be interested. That chicken is trying to perch on a different chicken. It's very funny. But uh, yeah, until next time, guys, keep farming. I'll catch you later.